fact, we are joined by Dr. Nathan Newman. He pioneered a new procedure. It's called stem cell lift, which uses your own stem cells to rejuvenate your skin. Welcome, Welcome doctor. doctor. What is a stem cell lift? Basically, a stem cell lift is a uh, procedure that we've um, made over 13 years ago where we take fat from your own body, uh -huh. separate out the stem cells from that fat, okay. concentrate it, they become activated, and then we inject it either by itself for um, medical reasons to joints or for autoimmune diseases or with the fat into the face to do a restoration of what was before in your face 10 years or 15 years ago, which is the volume from the fat. Sure. And then the stem cells are rejuvenated by producing growth factors. And those growth factors are the language of the cells that help tell the cells what to do. So they bring in new blood vessels, they bring in new collagen, and they're really undoing the aging process. Well, how, using these stem cells, how are they different from the stem cells that, you know, uh, uh, that are used okay. in other procedures? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, right. yeah. so how, how uh, is this different? Well, this is autologous. It means it, we're taking from your own body for you to you. The other stem cells are um, either embryonic stem cells, which have a lot of problems uh, with um, ethical issues, mm -hmm. um, and there's for bone marrow transplants where we take bone marrow from one person and use it to treat somebody else because they had a cancer and they take the blood cancer out and then they use the bone marrow from somebody else to restore the blood uh, of the other person. So is this really relocation is what we're talking about here. You're taking it from another part of the body and putting it in the face. Why doesn't it just naturally go? It does. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I just, it does. Can we just push it up there? No. You have, you have uh, oh, stem cells. Ankle, ankle fat in my face. Yeah. Okay, but that's, in essence, that's what we're doing, right? Right. Is that what you're talking about? The thing is, in your body, most of the stem cells are in all the tissues of your body, you have stem cells. You have it in your brain, you have it in your heart, you have it everywhere. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's waiting for a signal to get activated. So if you get trauma somewhere, what makes you heal are those stem cells. Is what, okay. what wakes up Your body around sends that area. Your to that area to heal itself. Oh, right. right. Okay. Okay. So but what we're doing I'm is uh, concentrating them and getting them in large numbers into the place where we want the, the active uh, ingredients that they make to make all the difference. Okay. Let me. Uh, this. I'm going to go elementary now. You got to talk to me like I'm a second grader. Okay? okay. What exactly is a stem cell in basic terms that I can understand this? Stem cells are your cells that are made from even embryonic tissue that are made to repair, restore, and rejuvenate your body. So anytime you are getting an injury, those stem cells come in and they heal it. Anytime your cells die off because they just got ill or they got aged, the new cells that come out are from those stem cells. Where are they? Okay. They're all over the body. They're floating around the body ready to take action. They're That's right. They're, we have it everywhere. Are you born with all those We're born cells? with them. And They're in every tissue. The most concentrated amount, the largest number of stem cells of any tissue is in the fat. Uh, so you have 100 I'm times more stem cells <laughs> than <laughs> this. <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, <laughs> can't, no, but do, is there a difference between um, stem cells that may be in your thigh or your pizza dough, as Christina loves to call it, and then you want to put it, that in your face? Is it, does it matter where it comes from? Uh, the stem cells are very smart. They know where they are in the body. So if I take it from the pizza dough area and I put it into the face, <laughs> they know not to become pizza dough. Well, they know to become face. I told the doctor, I said, uh, in August, uh, I had my neck done, but it was a procedure that was plastic surgery, so I was cut open. The downtime was a while, but the doctor did take uh, fat from my abdomen, which is like a little liposuction thing, and he did inject it here and here. And it basically, it was this, he explained to me how you know it would look natural because I was so concerned about looking unnatural that regular plastic surgery can do. So, so I had it put in there. So that's my confession but for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it worked though because I got rid of the little clowny things. But I did not do it anywhere else on the face because I'm afraid. Now, should I be afraid to to put it under the eyes and here and and? If it's done properly, yeah. it could 
give you very good results. Um, so but you didn't have diet. step. You didn't yeah. have so. Well, it is because they took it from my body. So isn't that the same? Well, thing? that's what I'm wondering. You have stem cells oh. in your fat, right? right? So theoretically, those stem cells that are in there, if they were kept alive, they will go and help repair it. What we do with the stem cell lift is we ensure that we are doubling or tripling the number of stem cells to the fat. So we're getting those healing abilities of those cells to make sure we get the best results and also to improve the skin quality over time. Okay, so, all right, all right, let me just, is this FDA approved? Is this all legit that is, you know, like stamp approval or is this experimental? F FDA doesn't cover procedures like your facelift or your tummy tuck is not part of what FDA covers. FDA covers drugs and devices. So your stem cells are not a drug. So okay. If we were to take your stem cells and grow them and make it into a drug, then they would need to approve that. Right. Okay. So um, you talked about your downtime and the procedure you went through, and it was an extended was a, period of time. It was an extended period of time. Doctor, what are we talking about here for downtime recovery? Less than two weeks. Okay, and I have a yeah. question. Are you supposed to start young, or am I supposed to wait till my face is like this and then do it? Well, nowadays What's everybody the age that you're supposed to... everybody can afford to maintain themselves. So it's right. much better to maintain yourself than to try to restore something 50 years later. So, so if you maintain it, you're much better off. All right. So uh, in short, Jesse, back. yes, start it right away. Right, you're you're um, five years late. Basically. <laughs> when we come back, we're actually going to see some befores and afters of this remarkable procedure that Dr. Newman is talking about. Some patients are here to share their story. A patient is here to share her story of this uh, and how it's affected her life. So don't go away. Do everything. We're back having what I think is a remarkable conversation about where, um, where, all, where this is going. We're joined, as I said, with Dr. Nathan Newman. He's here talking with us about stem cell, a stem cell lift a face lift, if you will. He's joined by, or we are joined now by one of his patients, Allison Dolphin, who uh, recently undergone this procedure, underwent this procedure. Welcome, Allison. Thank you. Thank so you. You, you went through this procedure in May of 2013, right? Yes. How would you describe the experience? Well, um, went in for consultation one week later, went in for the procedure, mini liposuction, in and out in one day. That evening, I went out to dinner, after, right after the procedure. And um, I'd say about, I had a little bit of swelling for about a week. Uh -huh. um, so there was a little bit of swelling, so I felt a little nervous about people seeing me. But um, I was able were, to get back uh, and exercise. Were you knocked life. out at all? Is this all, how was the procedure done? I was, as, I, was as, I, I would say I was, I was asleep. I give them a not, pill to relax okay. them. Not okay. There's no anesthesia. anesthesia. Okay, no. There's, they're, they're breathing on their own. They're, they can talk to me. They can tell me everything. Okay. So, so can we? I'm just dying to see the before uh, picture. So we have a picture of before and after. So let's right, take a look Allison. at that right now. Wow. wow. So, so here's uh, Allison's picture. You can see the before picture. She's lost a lot of volume on her temples, on her cheeks, on the sides of her face. And um, basically what we can do with a stem cell lift, which is very different than what we were able to do with the other uh, methods of uh, doing facelifts, is that we can sculpt the face using the, uh, the fat and the stem cells. And we, as you can tell, all of this area has filled in. Her cheeks are back up to where they used to be. So we're giving her the right proportions, the right amount of contour, so the definitions of the face are back to where they belong. And that's what gives you the useful look. And as you can tell, nobody can tell she's had anything done, including nope. me. I have to look at my chart to see what I did. Okay. <laughs> I want to, from our two things, when you look at that picture, what do you see, Allison? I see someone that looked a little gaunt, and it was, it was troubling. Then, but what yeah. do you see now? Oh, I see someone that's very happy. <laughs> can I, can I Wait, ask, did your skin improve as well? My skin did improve. Yeah, and it God, we can see seems, that. It definitely seems yeah. a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a person that doesn't wear makeup, uh -huh. generally. And um, it's, my skin has... Well, it's, it's very just, useful it's, and it's plumpy. Soft, uh, it's yeah, plump, it's uh, plumpy, but I mean that in a good way. It's plumped, where you know you usually see that with younger women, where the collagen is in their face and it looks well, healthy. Well, like for, for black people, it's hard to get... It's a risk in plastic surgery because there's keloid scarring and all this. Right. So how much actual surface tissue is, is marked and cut for this? Zero. Zero. There's no there's incisions, no, nothing. There's no scarring. There's no. It's just injections. It's just uh, using special instruments that are not sharp, actually, 
to inject underneath the skin in different uh, areas. So it's like a needle probe, that's it. Yeah. So, Allison, back to you for a second, because we're all looking you from the outside in. How does it feel from the inside out? Do you feel, is there numbing? Is it, does it feel like if oh, no. you, nothing at all? You, when you touch your no, skin, it, it you feel the same. No, it just feels like regular, soft, beautiful skin. I'm, are you happy you did this procedure? Oh, absolutely. And you opted to do this regular than to have a, a full facelift? Where Absolutely. And I, I, I would think about doing it probably every 10 years because it's really non-invasive. It's rejuvenating. Um, you're able to get up and go right away. Mm -hmm. um, and What have you, your friends said when they see you? That it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, actually they say, wow, you look really rested or... You know, but it's not like, hmm, what did, did you, you have, <laughs> what did you really have yeah. on? Right. Yeah, most patients, when they come back to me, they say, oh, people think I did my hair, I went on vacation. They don't say that they had work done. So, Can I ask how old you are? Absolutely, I'm 55. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. And, and you did this because you wanted, you're, you work, and you wanted to get back into the work? I mean, well, I've been a stay-at-home mom for the last few years, and we moved to California, and I'm now changing careers. I'm an attorney, and I'm now retraining to become a nurse. So I'm in a nursing program wow. with 90 other people. Wow. I am the oldest person in the program. Okay. So and okay. It's, you know, it's competitive to go out to a hospital environment. I mean, I'm healthy and strong, and I believe I can do the job. And now I feel more confident that I have the look that matches that. Dr. Newman, two important questions. One, how long will this last, and what are we talking about cost factors here? The stem cells are alive, so once they take and they become part of the face, they're permanent change. So at okay. three months, whatever stays is permanently yours. What happens from there is the aging process. If you look at your pictures every year, there's, you don't see a change. But every three years, every five years, you see that you've aged. So an average of five to ten years is the average time before we notice the aging process again. Okay. So you need to do it again. Can you keep, keep a little... You can do it again and it'll build on, upon what you've already done. So unlike the traditional face-up where we cut and, and have, create scars, here we're building the infrastructure. So it's much easier to build upon it versus trying to cut in a scar where you have more risk of getting nerve damage or bleeding. Cost factors that, uh, between the two, if you were doing traditional right. facelift in this. So doing traditional facelift, um, it, if you do a full face, which includes the forehead, the eyes, the, uh, the cheeks, and, and the jawline and everything, and you have to do multiple procedures because in the traditional way, you can't do one procedure to get all these areas. So you're looking at like $50,000 to do all that. Versus here, within $10,000, you can do the whole face. Wow. All right, I, the, here's the real test. Jesse, would you do this? Why? <laughs> would you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you do this? Would the, is well, this something you I, I will admit, I just got Botox for the first time, <laughs> like a month ago, and then I feel like my my head wouldn't move. But That's I think it's I, amazing. Yeah, like yeah. it's something I've never even had braces or anything, so I think it's amazing because I. I think you look amazing. I yeah. would do it versus cutting my face. I saw her make a little text on her phone. <laughs> She's already made an appointment. <laughs> Sophie? We're all admit stuff. We're admitting things today. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I would do it. And w I've made my appointment already. You yeah. have? Really? Yes. Because yeah. I know I, how I, green you are and how no, well, it's just, you are. They're all, it's, you know what? It's very green. They're using but it's so soap. natural. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it, if there was anything, to me, it's just not wanting to put stuff in your face, as Christina said, right. that you're going to look mm -hmm. unnatural yeah. and because you're dealing with from your own body you're not going to have reactions mm -hmm. to it which you could with any other uh -huh. fella so I think it's an amazing thing yes okay fantastic good. yes or no Ken uh, I think yes, yes. I wouldn't I men with plastic surgery look weird but this to me is a total different thing <laughs> well you know what she's shopping will make already for Christmas so maybe she'll, she'll <laughs> but he also mentioned the doctor also mentioned it helps with arthritis as well so you can yep. go and have the injections maybe and we'll stem cells we did our yeah, hands we, yes, so did ha we did our hands <laughs> you did your hands so that's, too nobody can say that oh. you can tell a woman's age with her hands I'm well, we going can. by the way hands over here I want to tell you more information on Dr. Newman and stem cell lift you can visit stem celllift.com. It's all there. The questions you have will be answered right